role continued to the transfer of genetic resources from the east to the west, from west towards east. And now I'm delighted to invite Ms. Nurhan Atasoy to links between the Turkish Ottoman and the Western world of floriculture and gardening. Yeah. This, what we have in 
ve o radyo. Bizi radyonun tedili yapıyor. This is a very high one. I think the, uh, the people can see the beauty of the garden much better. Then what else we have? A bit? We have a water, water feature, a creek in here and a fountain. And on, on this, on your left, on your right, the garden has got cypress trees. It is in Istanbul. It is in Istanbul and in Istanbul we have many cypress trees and we used to have, in today, we have cypress trees almost only in graveyards. It is not a graveyard uh, tree. Cypress is not a graveyard tree. It used to be a garden tree. So uh, we will see cypress trees in autumn gardens. Okay, and this, this garden, this is a private garden of the uh, imperial garden on the Bosphorus and what we have, we have a garden, a uh, pavilion, cypress trees and it is on the, on the water side, we have water uh, next to our garden. <coughs> visiting 
the blue mosque. It is in front of the, this hippodrome, uh, uh, Byzantine uh, square, in front of the blue mosque, and you will be visiting it. And this festivity took place in there, in 1582. And all the guilds of Istanbul uh, participated in this festival. And among them, we had gardeners. Gardeners took, uh, made some small models of Ottoman gardens, and they brought them to the festival area. And here we have, in all these three models, we have cypress trees, these were a must for the garden, for a garden. And here we have also uh, the cypress tree in, uh, in the three of them. Flower beds and uh, water feature. We have in, in two of them, we have fountains for the water. So these are the basic elements of Ottoman gardens. Now, there were also a similar festivity, festival in 1720 uh, for the, on the occasion of uh, three sons of Ahmed III. And uh, for this occasion, they had all these made prepared. Uh, and we, we see many, these are the models, and we have all different type of Ottoman gardens. Uh, do you know what they were made of? They were made of sugar, colored sugar. The, the sons of the Sultan loved these so much, they, are, they prayed their father to have these gardens put in front of the of their uh, lodge so that they could look at them, see, see these gardens longer. But it rained and unfortunately it, it was destroyed. But uh, the artist uh, made the miniature painting of this, which is very important for us. You see how they were carried. There are two, two gardens, uh, uh, as you can see in here. And what we see, uh, a garden wall, and uh, flower beds, and a, a lake, and a boat in it, and garden pavilions, and also tulips, flowers, and so on, and flower, uh, flower trees. What else I want to show you? In a garden, one must have birds. Birds complete the, the garden. And in this case, they put the uh, birds into the cages. And also, they make some some features of uh, birds that I cannot see. Maybe you can see. Oh, on top of these trees, for instance, you can see. And these men are quite interesting. They, 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 are, they have whistles. They whistle to encourage the birds to sing. So, I studied all these details in these miniature paintings to understand the uh, basic uh, elements of an Ottoman garden. After the conquest of Istanbul, uh, the conqueror of Istanbul uh, came with the with, with the soldiers to this site on the, on the Golden Horn. And uh, he turned this site uh, into a garden. And uh, 
12,000 cypress trees were planted there. And uh, it, it was used as a garden for many, many uh, centuries. What I would like to also show you, this, this is the Korkapu Palace, the second courtyard, and uh, this is the uh, way to go from the second gate to the third gate in the second courtyard, and we have all these cypress trees. Unfortunately, we lost some of these cypress trees during some storms. How I begged the ministry to plant new ones. It would take several years uh, to grow, and uh, in the end they did. Sometimes they listen to you. Very rarely. I mean, um, in the 16th century, 
we have a different style of painting. And they are all, everything is style. Uh, it's not the way in Europe uh, it developed. And you have to get used to this style. So for this style, this is really very natural looking uh, uh, flowers. So what happens? We meet a, 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 a painter called Karameme who, who made the beautiful um, illumination of the poems of, of a book uh, which contain the poems of Suleiman the Magnificent. It's called Anthology or Divan in Turkish. And uh, this painter uh, made all this uh, uh, beautiful uh, uh, paintings of flowers and he started flower style in Ottoman art. Of course, flowers were always there in Ottoman art or in Islamic miniature painting. Always we find we have them. But uh, this is different in style because we can recognize the flower. We can say, I mean, in the earlier times, the flowers we see we cannot tell which flower it is. It is very stylized. But in here, you know, you look at this, these are irises, these are daffodils, these are um, anemones, these are carnations and hyacinths. You can name them so easily. And this style spread out uh, very rapidly. Uh, how many uh, work on this uh, manuscript in about 1540s and but after that suddenly in autumn art we, we find uh, flower, flowers in everything. We, we start having many books, many books uh, made with uh, with flower illustrations. Here we have the same uh, 1582 festival. Uh, you see, we see this flower, paper flower, made of paper flower, brought, and and we have the florist. Uh, there were, during in the early Ottoman period, we know from the uh, Ottoman uh, documents, we know that there were 200 florists in Istanbul. Florists. You know, when I started, when I was young and I was started, when I was going to start working on uh, love of flowers in Turkish society. I could not believe that there were some flowers. We, we thought that to giving a bouquet of flowers to somebody, this tradition came from Europe. Or to, to have hot flowers, to take them to the uh, grave, to the graves, was a, a Western uh, tradition. No, Buzbek, who was uh, the ambassador uh, among the uh, envoy of uh, the embassy of uh, Augsburg, in his memoir tells us how he was met by Genesis uh, with, with bouquets of flowers. It is, it is mid 16th century. And when, I, when you know, reading this, can you imagine in Europe there were no florists uh, in the 16th century, in the 15th century. But in Istanbul there were. 
Anyway, I should not be too long. Let us go. And this is also the, uh, the show of the uh, guilds, Istanbul guilds, coming to the uh, festival. And you cannot see all in, in this cloud uh, how the flowers were, uh, how the flowers took place in this show. And uh, this is a detail. And we, you see the Turkish tulips, which were very pointed and warm. And I said, you know, it, uh, this flower style spread out everywhere. When you visit uh, Istanbul monuments, old monuments, you will see the walls of the uh, interior uh, buildings were covered with tiles, and you will come across all, all uh, in, in all these buildings many examples of these tiles showing different kind of flowers. And Ottoman, uh, on Ottoman uh, textiles, 16th century textiles I'm showing you, and Ottoman kafra, imperial kafra, some tulips, and even uh, I, I could show you more of the arms that has got uh, many flower motifs on them. Yes, now, don't worry, I'm not going to talk more. What I will show you. Now, read this, please.
I in Stockholm. You know, I, I photographed this in Stockholm. This uh, this horse hunt, uh, horse chestnut tree. It was so beautiful. And uh, of course we have beautiful horse uh, horse nut chest trees, but you know I happened to to see and enjoy seeing it there. And ah, uh, it was like that time when I was in Vienna once.